Welcome to lecture 20. So this brings us to the direct comparison test, which is yet another test for showing series convergence. Lecture 20 and 21 are very similar in that the two tests are related to each other. So we're going to have this lecture, which is direct comparison test, and then lecture 21 is the limit comparison test. Um, so they work with similar types of looking series. So that's why these two sort of go together. So the first one I'm going to talk about now is called Direct Comparison Test, or DCT. And here's the statement. So suppose you have two different series, and they're series with positive terms. So the first thing is, if B sub n is convergent and the A sub n terms are less than or equal to the B sub n, for all numbers n after some point, so after some n value, then it follows that the series summation a sub n is also convergent. And then the one other situation we get with this is if B sub n is divergent and the A sub n's were all larger than the B sub n's, so again, for all numbers n after some point, then the series summation a sub n also is divergent. So these are the two things you need to know for the direct comparison test. So any series that's smaller than a convergent series is also convergent. And then any series that is bigger than a divergent series is also divergent. So those are the two directions that you get. One other very important thing you need to know for the direct comparison test and for limit comparison test is you need to have some kind of reference for a series that already converge and diverge. You need to have some examples ready to go. And the most important example is this one that we talked about already. So the 1 over n to the p, that's going to converge when p is strictly larger than 1. So this is kind of our. Um, this is a, our well-known example. Because for this test and for the next test to come in the next lecture, you need to have a B sub n at the ready. You need to have one ready that you know converges or diverges so you can compare it to the new one. You have to at least know one of these um, converge or diverge. So this is a well-known example. All right, so let's try it for the first one. We're going to determine if the following series converge. So this is the first one. So if you suspect that it's direct comparison test or limit comparison test, which we'll do in the next lecture, first thing you need to do is you need to make a guess. And you'll get better at guessing as you go along, but you need to, you need to make a guess. You need to be sure um, that you're going to try something that either converges or diverges. So I see something like um, something over n to the first power, right? And when you see something like n to the first power, Usually that diverges. That's like a harmonic series. So my guess is going to be this. It's going to be that ln of n over n diverges. So once you make a guess, you need to find another series that does the same thing that you know for certain. So we know that the summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 over n is the divergent harmonic series. We know that. We've shown that in a couple of different lectures now. And this is, remember, this is p equals 1. So it's not greater than 1. So we know that this one diverges. Also, 1 over n is less than ln of n over n. Notice this is what I'm trying this is what I'm shooting for here. So 
this right here, what I've circled, this is my a sub n. And now I've chosen a b sub n. So we chose b sub n over 1 over n, because I think that's going to be the most helpful. It's like the most related to this one. So 1 over n is less than ln over n when n is greater than or equal to 3. You could look at the graph if you want of ln, but basically after 1, um, for, or sorry, for 1 here, after a certain point, ln is going to be greater than the value 1, and it's going to increase forever. So eventually, uh, after some point, like I said it, up here, it's going to be greater than. So also, this is true. So I have a divergent series here, and I found something that's greater than a divergent series. That's, number, that's case 2. So by the direct comparison test, the summation n equals 1 to infinity of ln of n over n is also divergent. So to summarize, one, make a guess. You need to look at this and kind of get an idea. And you can be wrong, and you can pick something that's wrong, but then you're just going to have to regroup and make another guess. So sometimes it takes multiple guesses. But pick something that looks like a series that you know what it does, and it's, it looks similar to the one you're, you're trying to figure out. Once you make a guess, you need to try to get it to go in the right direction. So I started with a divergent thing. I needed to show that the thing I was given was even greater, even bigger. So I was looking to try to get that inequality to go that way. OK, and once you've shown that you have something larger than a divergent thing, you get to quote the direct comparison test and then say it's divergent. Here are examples. You know what I'm going to say to you. You should try them on your own. But of course, I'm going to do them now. So let's look at this one. Um, I notice I have an n to the first power over an n to the second power. OK, so here's what I'm going to say first. We know that n over n squared is 1 over n. And that's fairly close to what this looks like. So my guess is going to be that this is divergent, too, because I know that that's divergent. OK, so the thing I'm starting with is I have this is my a sub n, and then this is my choice for my b sub n. So I'm going to start with 1 over n. That's my b sub n, the one that I've chosen. I know that that's equal to n over n squared. And I know that that's going to be less than n plus 1 over n squared. Because what did I do? The only thing I did is I added 1 to the numerator, and I kept the rest the same. And when you increase the numerator, you get a bigger thing. But notice, here's b sub n. And then I've, I've worked my way to a sub n. So here, my b sub n is divergent. It's a divergent harmonic series here. So I know that we know that this means that this series here diverges. So I have 1 over n. And I now have found that this a sub n is larger than a divergent series. So this one also diverges by the direct comparison test. And it all just starts with that guess. And you have to get the inequality to work the way you want. So this is another example where we use the second case. All right, let's look at something like this. So this doesn't look like a 1 over n type deal. It's something totally different. But I do see something that is like another type of series that we've done. So we know that the summation n equals 1 to infinity of 2 thirds to the n is a convergent. What type of series is that? If you have a fixed r, the r is strictly less than 1 in absolute value. What type of series is that called? This is a convergent geometric series. This is what I'm going to use for my b sub n. So my b sub n, my choice, is 2 over 3 to the n. b 
because it's so close to looking like that. So now our goal changes. We're trying to find something, or so we're trying to find that this one is less than the one we picked now. Because my guess, my guess here is that this is going to be convergent. So the goal changes. Now you need to make sure that this one is less than what you picked, unlike the other ones before. All right, so let's get this to work. So here I have 2 over 3 to the n. That's 2 to the n over 3 to the n, just using algebra. What happens when you add 1 to the denominator? Instead of adding 1 to the numerator like I had before, if you add 1 to the denominator, you create something for any positive n value, you create something that's strictly less than what you started with. So here's the b sub n I started with. And notice I've made my way to the, this is the a sub n. So I had a convergent thing here. And then this is less than a convergent thing that I picked. So the number one, um, case one over there, says that this is also convergent. So this, this series is convergent by the direct comparison test. So the work you need to show, especially on like a first month, is you need to show how you're getting from the series you chose, or the, the expression here that you chose, to the thing you're looking for. Your goal is always to get to the one you're looking for here. You first need to say why the first one is either convergent or divergent. So this, my reason this time was it's geometric. So you give that reason, and then you have something less than it. So the final thing you'll always say is that conver it's convergent or divergent based on the direct comparison test. But you should give reasons for all of these things. You should write these out very clearly. All right, how about this one? I thought this one was kind of tricky. Did you give this a try? So here I see the 1 over n to a power thing again. Now if I ignore this just this plus 1 here, that's not really going to matter in the limit. Let's look at this. I'm going to say my b sub n, the thing I'm choosing, because remember this is always a sub n. I'm going to choose 1 over n to the 3 halves power. The reason I'm doing that is because I see it's under a square root here. So this is equal to 1 over n to the third under a square root. I'm, I'm picking the power that basically matches this and I'm ignoring the plus 1. That's not going to matter in the limit. OK, but I wrote it like this for a reason. So here, this is, the, um, this is a p integral, or uh, sorry, a p series. I have 1 over n to the 3 halves. So p equals 3 halves. So remember, this is very important to know this. If p is greater than 1, you have a convergent series. So the summation n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 3 halves is a convergent p integral. Uh, I keep saying p integral, but I mean p series. p series. Because p is larger than 1. So this is the thing I've started with that I know for a fact is true. I've got to get to this thing. So now I, I've stated this is convergent. So that, what that means is my guess is that this is going to be convergent. If, if your guess is that it's convergent, you've got to show that this is less than the thing you started with. Remember, if you're showing it's divergent, you've got to show that it's more than the thing that you started with. So let's go ahead and build our inequality. I'm going to start with 1 over n to the 3 halves. From before, I know that that's 1 over square root of n to the third. Um, I don't want an equal sign, because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that thing I had before. I'm going to increase the denominator by doing that, by doing plus 1 right there. So remember, if you increase the denominator, you make something that is less than what you started with. And this is, what, this is the original. This is what I started with. So here I have b sub n. This is convergent. And I have something that is less than a convergent thing. So I'm in case 1 again. So this one, this original series converges by 
the direct comparison test. You got to show all your reasoning and explain why the thing you chose in the beginning is what it is, basically. I want you to explain as much as you can. All right, this last one was weird. Um, I hoped you worked on, it, worked on it for a little bit and then just kind of maybe stopped because this is something that I wanted to show you that's going to lead into the next lecture. So the idea is this. Not all series that look like this are going to be, um, you're not going to be able to determine whether they converge or diverge using this test alone. So there's going to be another test in the next lecture that's going to help us figure this out. I want to show you why, really quick, this would not work with the test we have right now. So this one right here, if I have n to the, I have a square root of n on the bottom, that's like having 1 over n to the half, right? Just like the same reasoning I had, I had n to the third under a square root is 3 halves. This is like having an n to the 1 half. So this is pretty close to this. And then we know that the summation n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 1 half. This is a divergent p series. It's because um, p is equal to a half, which is, that's less than 1, right? And it only converges when p is greater than 1. So the thing I'm picking is divergent. I'm going to guess now it's divergent. Basically, you picked something that's divergent so that you're kind of forced into guessing that, right? So now let's look at this and compare it with this. So I have 1 over n to the 1 half. That's what I, I picked, I started with. This is equal to 1 over the square root of n. And then I'd like to compare that to 1 over, and I'm just going to add 1 to the denominator. So from here to here, I've introduced plus 1 to the denominator. We know from our previous examples, adding 1 to the denominator makes it a smaller thing. So it goes like this. However, do you see the problem with what, what happened? So this right here, we said this is divergent. We found that the original is something smaller than a divergent. But look very closely at the statement. It says that if b sub n is divergent, and it's the smaller one, then the larger one is also divergent. Do you see how I have the opposite here? I started with something I know is divergent, and I found that the thing was smaller. So this means this is inconclusive. That was horrible. <laughs> inconclusive using the direct comparison test. Basically, there's two cases that are not accounted for right here, right? What happens if you have something that's smaller than a divergent or something that's larger than a convergent, right? There's two more cases that you're, you get inconclusive for, and this is one of them. So, but all I'm going to write here, like this is some kind of um, ongoing anime. This is basically like the 20th episode in um, a season-long thing of anime. What would the anime be called? Can you please let me know in class? Okay. So would I be the main character or would I just be one of the side characters? Probably the side character. Um, so this is to be continued. In the next lecture, we're going to learn another test that's very closely related to this one that's going to help us figure this out. So I will see you then. Have a nice day.